guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Quick video for you guys today. If you've been watching the MRE review series, you'll see that over time I've progressively gotten better to using the FRH or the flameless ration heater. When I first started the reviews, I had a hard time getting the meal to heat really well. I tried quite a few things to get to what I think is a foolproof way to use your FRH. So stay tuned and I'll give you guys a quick summary of what I've learned and how to make sure you can heat your meal well. Thanks for watching. Now, MRE flameless ration heaters, or FRHs, are made by a company called Zestotherm. Basically, they're a food-grade compound made out of iron, magnesium, and sodium. The instructions are really simple. I'll show you guys what those look like. At first, I just tried to follow the directions. I added water. Sometimes I added too much water. I noticed a couple of things happening. First and foremost, my meals did not heat very well, and that was a big, big problem. Second, I noticed that my bags always leaked water. There was always water everywhere, and it was a big mess. I would put the FRH and the meal on the ground next to where I was doing my review, and I'd come back in 10 minutes and there'd be water everywhere. And that was a real pain. I started thinking maybe I had a bad batch of bags or a bad batch of FRHs. And it turns out that I was just bad at using FRHs. After trying and failing just using water and trying to follow the basic directions, I said, well, let me just improve the heating. So I put everything inside of a homemade koozie. That didn't work either. Then I started doing the standard thing, which is researching YouTube. And I found that adding some salt to the water can help. And that did help a little bit, but I still couldn't exactly get it to work right. After about 10 tries, I finally got the FRH system down. I'm gonna show you guys today what it is. So here are the steps to my foolproof way. First and foremost, you need this. This is, as you can see, salt water. I took just a regular bottle of water, I added quite a bit of salt to it, and I dissolved it. Keep this around if you can. Of course, most of the MREs now come with a salt, so you can make a little salt solution at the bottom of this, but to make it easy for me, I just made this. The key is you need some salt water. The salt water activates the FRH much better than regular water. Tear it across here. If I can, I'll try the other side. Sometimes it's a kind of a pain. There we go. Nice, easy tear off. Now you can see at the bottom here that it says, do not overfill. What I do is I pull out my FRH so that it's not on the bottom here, okay? And then I'm going to insert my meal right in there on top of the FRH. So. The meal is on top, the FRH is on the bottom. And you can see clearly with it up off the ground where the do not fill is. So basically you're just gonna add water just in the middle of those two lines. And again, this is salted water. So that should be about right. Now what we do is slide these all the way down. Okay, so you get them at the bottom. First, you're gonna fold this over twice to create a watertight seal. And then you're just going to start floating this back and forth and literally massaging that FRH, all right? Massage the FRH really, really good. Go back and forth and really work with it. And you wanna hold this so that you're creating an environment, you will start to see it. And there it goes, it's starting to steam up. This is why I started to bust things because I would not release the steam. So once you start to feel a lot of heat, and it's hot, I can tell you guys, it is really hot. Release that steam, keep that water going a little bit. Now you're gonna get your little sleeve, all right? Open it up. Now right now, let's see if y'all can hear it. So it is going, all right? Now you're gonna fold this one time and you're gonna leave it so that air can come out. Oh, that's really hot, be careful. Put this in and tuck this in, but air can still come out here. You still hear it? All right, you can see smoke coming out of it. Hopefully you guys can see the smoke coming out. Like a champ, see it right there. Now you're gonna put this at 45 degrees and let it sit for 10 to 12 minutes. You can see how quickly we got this going and this is the way an FRH is supposed to work. So there you have it guys, a foolproof way to use an FRH. I searched for videos, I found some good ones, but I figured, you know what, I'm gonna make one because I've learned from my mistakes. I had total disaster at first. I had leaking bags, water everywhere, cold food, total disaster. Simple, simple steps. Make a salt water. If you don't have it in a bottle like I do, just pour some salt in the bottom of your bag, pour the water in, mix it really, really good to dissolve the salt, and then mix everything together. Fold it over twice to make it watertight. Massage that salt water into the FRH at the bottom. Wait till it starts to get nice and hot. You're gonna see some steam building. Open it up. Fold it over once, allowing steam to go out, put it into your carton, put it at 45 degrees, 10 minutes, you got a hot meal. 
Quick video for you guys, hoping to help some of y'all out who are having struggles like I did at the beginning with using an FRH. As always, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I'm currently in the middle of a series testing all 24 of the current MRE menu. Make sure and leave a link down below for you guys to check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you appreciate it. If you have any other tips out there for people who are using FRHs, make sure you leave them down below. A lot of the stuff that I've done came from tips from my viewers. I just kind of put them all together and made a video for you guys. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.